Hey everybody, this is Glenn here from High Performance PC at Cape Cod. Okay, I'm going to do a video here for you. Um, I just got this brand new Microsoft Surface 2 um, Windows RT tablet last week. And um, I want to connect my printer, and I've already done it, but I want to show you how to do it. Um, and the best way to do it is I've got, I'm using a wireless printer. I've got a brother um, 790CW all in one printer that I bought back in end of two, December of 2008, so it's an older printer, and I'm going to show you it can be done, and it will work. All right, so I'm on my start screen right now, and I'm going to go to either desktop, or I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to go to my um, control panel, which is right here. Okay, control panel is open. Okay, now I want to go to devices and printers, right here. Okay. Now, I've already got a printer in here. I'm going to take this printer out so I can show you that it actually works. Okay, so you're going to see this printer is going to disappear. Um, boom. No, I don't want that. Okay. I didn't click the right. Okay, I want to remove it. Okay, the printer is now gone. You don't see it in the list anymore. It's now gone. All right, so when you come into devices and printers, now what you want to do is... You've got add a device or add a printer. So you want to go to add a printer, and it's going to search. Now, don't take the very first one. You want the one that shows right here. As you can see, I've got one here that shows just the IP. It says the name of the printer, which is brother, and then it shows the IP address. So you want to choose the one with the IP address, okay? Because the other one above it says HTTP with an IP address. It won't work. You need that second one with just the IP address. Okay, now you click next. Okay, now I've got a, a page to come up here, and it shows a whole bunch of drivers right here. Now, how I did it was, I started off with this very first one right here. I click Next, and it's going to say, you know, something to the effect of use this driver. Um, use the driver that's already installed, recommended. Try it. Click Next. And then it's going to come up with a little box asking you to print a test page. Try it. When I did it, my printer was saying receiving data, but that's all it would say. It wouldn't go any further. I let it go for a few minutes, still nothing. So if it don't work, cancel this back out, go back to add a printer and start all over again. And keep trying each driver until you find the one that works. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down the list because I know which driver is mine that works. And I want to come down to, okay, it's right here. And it's the one that says, brother, IJ leg. Type 1 um, class driver. So that's the one I'm going to choose. Okay, I'm going to click Next. Okay, see now it's going to come up with, it says, um, use the driver that's currently installed, recommended, or you want to replace the current driver. So you want to replace the current driver. So you're going to click Next. Okay. Now it's going to come up asking you, you know, printer name. You can leave it the way it is. Mine says brother printer and all that. Just leave it. See, now you come up to the print a test page. So you click print a test page. Okay, now we're going to wait. See if it goes to my printer. So make sure I have the right one. Okay, we're still waiting. Make sure. Yep, there we go. And I'll grab that for you real quick. We'll let that printer print out. And like I said, the best thing to do is you're going to want to have a wireless printer. Um, so that seems to work the best with this. And okay, here we go. Set this down in front. And there it is. There's my windows printer test page as you can see right here it printed this out and once you've tested this then you know that that comes up now you know you're printing so that's all you have to do so just a, a little quick recap on what i did was control panel devices and printers um you may already have some defaults down there you'll have the xps document printer and the Microsoft, what is it, 
word writer printer whatever it's called I I remove them because I don't see a use for them and so there'll be nothing down here below once you remove those your printer may show up and if it does don't bother it won't work it's got to have a check mark in it to to show that it it'll work it won't let you put a check mark in so you have to go up to the top and add a printer so do those steps add the printer and then you know try all the drivers in the list try each one you know click the first driver click next it's going to ask you to name the printer it's already named just click next then it's going to be print the test page so try printing the test page um mine said receiving data at the printer but nothing happened so i canceled it went back and started and i went back to add a printer um click next and when it comes up with the list of drivers go to the next one on the list keep driving the, all the way down that list keep trying trying it until you find the one that works once you find it you'll be like me and you're all set um the, the printer's all as you can see it connected it's now printing and so that's good so that's all you need to do so um that's it thanks for watching my videos um subscribe to my youtube channel here i do various other videos snow blowing um music videos i got all kinds of stuff on my page um and so make sure you subscribe to my page and thanks for watching my videos and please head on over to facebook.com forward slash high performance pc of cape cod go like my page i got all kinds of stuff over there to do strictly with computers um please do that for me all right all right thanks everybody and i'm out of here and see you thanks for watching bye everybody